Hi everyone, it's time to look north with Moon. Canadian audio electronics expert Moon by Sim Audio has recently updated its amplifier range. There are now six models in its core high-end uh, range, starting with the two models in the 600 series, which is an integrated amplifier and a, and a DAC, and uh, two pre-amplifiers and two stereo power amplifiers in the 700 and 800 ranges respectively. And we have got secured an exclusive look at the 781 and 791, that's the stereo uh, power amplifier and pre-amplifier, uh, full body pre-amplifier, full function pre-amplifier, streamer, DAC, phono stage um, for you. The, this lib, this phono stage pre-amplifier DAC used to be three separate boxes in the moon range this this moves a lot of uh, uh, this shifts a lot of boxes for, for that and the same applies at the higher end this used to be this takes up several several devices uh in one and i think that reflects a change in both moon and in a wider context for um audio in general i think people are moving to a more simplistic more um minimal but still high performance um, uh, system. Um, they want solutions that aren't a dozen boxes. Yes, you can still have the dozen boxes if you want. Um, this will, it's perfectly possible to do so, but increasingly people want everything in one, but they also want it to work well, uh, conveniently. Um, this system uses Moon's um, MIND uh, network system, which has been very well used. M not MIND 2 is a very well integrated system. It works extremely well. It has done for years. It's been used so much. It's robustness tested to the limits. Um, this changes it slightly in that it's got a, a nice uh, front screen, um, a front display, which is uh, more graphic. It has a it has an album cover and, and other elements to it. But it's essentially a revised version of what's already out there. It's backwards compatible with Moon Mind equipment. Uh, it works well with their app and it's just a, a really good device. Uh, this is coupled with a very fine phono stage and some very good line stages. It's a network connected Bluetooth device. One of the great things about it is it comes with this handy little remote control or remote handset, which is also, as I said, Bluetooth connected. It's also USB charged. It's a great little thing. One thing, it's probably a little sensitive. You can see it's changing there, but it's it's good. It's not that sensitive, but yes, you can spin it and it, it works well. Moon are obsessed by volume controls and I don't, I, I, and for good reason. Volume control is a log jam in any system. And in, and in this one, the, um, it, it's, this is a rotary controller rather than than um, than a, a, a potentiometer or a step ladder array. What it does is there's an opto controller. Opto electronically connects this to kind of the core part of the the circuit to the most optimal place to to, to operate it. So it's it's kind of the best volume control you can get. It's incredibly precise, both in terms of between the channels it's sort of down to I think it's half a dB um, accuracy from channel to channel and the 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 jumps in in range are accurate to within again half a dB which is is, is extraordinarily good um, so it's a preamplifier that does everything that that you'd really need from a good preamplifier today and it's it's pretty future-proof as well in that respect as best as we can think in any any system tomorrow everything may change but at the moment mind speaks to every um, both to to local servers and to to um, network uh, companies with with the greatest of ease um, and it it's just a it's, a it's a really good system the great thing about this is amp the preamplifier is that it's as transparent as anything moon has made and then some it's it's an extremely precise 
sounding amplifier, but not in a kind of sterile, dull way. The moment you listen to it, the moment you, if you've spent any time with Moon equipment, you realise this is the same, but more so. It's more dynamic, it's more expressive, it's more detailed, it's more thorough. It's more, just more capable of playing all manner of, of music from, from uh, well, I mean, it's, I played pretty much everything on it. I played, I think the only thing I missed was heavy opera. Oh, and Klingon opera as well. That's a definite no-no. Um, but otherwise, I think it just, it just, you know, it will play everything I, I threw at it um, and did and threw it well. Um, we can use it in balance. We can use it in single-ended. It's just a very flexible device. It's a £16,000 preamplifier, but as a £16,000 preamplifier goes, it's got to be one of the best out there in terms of both functionality and performance. And the fact is, it's also supremely well built. So you're going to buy this and it's going to be still hanging around 10, 15 years time if you want it. That's what it's good at. And when we come back, we'll look at its brother. So now we're going to focus on the 761, which is, as we said, as a £14,000 stereo power amplifier. It delivers 200 watts per channel, and um, most notably, it, it uses Moon's new distortion, cam distortion cancelling amplifier circuit, which is like the like the um, volume control in the, the phono stage is incredibly precise. It's incredibly precise, and also mapping the amplifier so it's not going it's it's going to run as efficiently as possible yet as close as possible into class a so it's 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 a very it's a it's a very modern design so it means that you're not having an amplifier although it's got a lot of heat sinking and it does get warm it's not pulling a huge amount of energy out of the wall um, at any given volume level and it will play at any given volume level. I, I, yeah, I was mindful that this is uh, in a few hours is being packed up and shipping off to Munich. So I wasn't going to uh, turn it into a, a, a thermonuclear meltdown, but I played this at low levels and high levels and it played very well throughout. It didn't have a problem. It, and one of the great things is yeah, high level at 200 watts and a big power amplifier, you think, oh, I'll play Led Zeppelin at, at, at pace. And yes, of course you can do that. But more importantly, you can play something very, very, uh, very, very precise, very fine sounding music. I've, I've recently been uh, trying to find some, mu some music for a, a, a funeral of a family member. And, and that kind of music, it needs some subtlety behind it. Now, obviously, we're not be playing in a very high-end context, but um, it's really good to hear. It, it, it's, it's a very different thing when you're you're playing um, Mozart piano concertos and playing much more uh, andante kind of pieces of music rather than the much more uh, bolder pieces. This has proved to be a really, really capable amplifier. As I said, it's, 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 I mean, it, it, it can be used in bridged mode, which is, uh, I don't know how that's going to sound because this is the only one out of the factory at the moment, but I, given it's one of them sounds good, I'm sure two of them will sound extremely good. It works uh, imbalanced and single-ended. You've just got to switch between it. And it's also, uh, Moon have cleverly put a, 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 um, uh, a an improved version of their uh, Moon connection so that this will, uh, the status between the two amplifiers is much better controlled. And this front panel has a very useful status light, which tells you briefly what the, the amplifier is doing um, in, in pretty good terms, actually. The great thing I think about this is that, yes, it does give you that potential to, to, um, 
to to drive at any level. I mean, I played this. Yeah, I mean, it, obviously, it needs a good preamplifier. Hint, but you know, you'll play it at at at, um, at, at, at anything from from a as a from a whisper to a scream, and, and that's one of the joys of it, in that it covers all of that very well. It doesn't give up and require, you know, it's it's it's, it's an amplifier that it, it's not a three watt single ended triode amplifier, and nor is it a PA amplifier. And if you want that sort of, you either want that heft or that sort of grace and are prepared to put up with a lot of losses in the process, then go with it. This is probably not your amplifier. But for an amplifier that does everything and it does it well, it plays a good tune. It's remarkably rhythmic. For, you know, it's an obsession that the UK has, but we seem to have that obsession about amplifiers that are usually smaller than this one. They're usually in the 70s and 80 watts. This one delivers 200 and it does it very well. It bounces, it plays a tune, which is, so should they all but it also has good stereo it has very very good very powerful dynamic range you can play i mean on the one hand you can get that micro dynamics that you get from small jazz smoky jazz clubs and on the other you get that power and force and energy that you would get from marla's eighth at full tilt or what have you this will play it and play it well and the two in combination, you wouldn't want to break up the band. Uh, they just work perfectly together. Uh, one thing to note, Moon users quite often use a, um, a set of bars connecting um, amplifier to amplifier. Uh, these are very popular. Uh, there will be bars connecting these amplifiers, but at present they're on the way. The ones that are existing are not compatible with this model, and that means that if you have, if you like doing that sort of racking, um, these will not sit with your existing models. However, I don't think that's a big problem because in most cases, if somebody's going to change this, it, yeah, then maybe they'll start with the power amplifier, and that's a different thing. And if they don't start with the power amplifier, uh, I, I think it's a rack mount. The, there's there's differences to the casing um, that that make this a different product. For example, this top plate is um, now um, screwless, so that means that that it's much more um, it's much more elegant. These 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 curved heat sinks are very different from from what went before, and and this cut in moon um, logo in the top plate is um, it's a bit of a heat channel. So that's a slight difference from from previous models. So it doesn't it's not exactly the same. It doesn't exactly look the same. But it looks close enough and I think people would can see the family resemblance. At the moment and I believe these are only going to be available in what what's been colloquially called panda with the silver sides and the black front panel. Traditionally it could come in all black or all silver and I think this is just staying in this 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 level. That may change if popular demand but at the moment I think it's certainly to be honest, this was always the most popular one anyway. Um, the six models, as we, as we said, to start with, there will probably be additional devices coming along at a later date. Um, but there'll be more of the specialist models, so I, I can't see... Uh, well, for example, you're probably looking at a very high-end headphone um, amplifier and a very high-end um, um, phono stage separate to, to what we have. Um, and there's possibilities of things like, I mean, maybe a CD transport in the future, who knows? So we're, we're not talking necessarily talking definitives there. They're not going to give the game away. But as it stands, the six that we've got are excellent. They, they really do, well, the, of the six that we've got, the, the first two that we've seen are stunning. They do everything that, that, I, that, that I would want from a preamplifier and a power amplifier. There's not a lot out there that I mean. There's there's a lot of stuff out there that does similar to this, but it's always at an order of magnitude. Well, it's 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 considerably more expensive, or it does most of what this does and doesn't quite cover all the bases. This really does. And if you have existing Moon equipment and you spend a couple of you know you spend a weekend with this stuff you won't want to keep that moon equipment this is such a step change forward yes it's taken you know it's been 
the, the original moon equipment it replaces has been on the market for several years, for quite a while. But it was still good. There was nothing wrong with it. And even, you know, until this day, it, it was, do you need to change it? And once you've heard them, oh yeah, you can see why. Everything from the, I mean, the, phys the aesthetics of it's very good. Everything from the top, top plate to the, the feet is all looking good. But most importantly, I think it's just how good it sounds, how fixed it is, how solid and dynamic and expressive it is. Most of all that that future proofing that this this is a system that I know you could be happily playing for the next 10 years without any kind of hassle with it at all in terms of functionality. I mean obviously as we said it's impossible to second guess what guess what the market would do if we were looking at 10 years ago everything was well, 10 or 12 years ago everything was about downloading and it was still about cd if it wasn't cd it was downloading now downloading is it's still a thing but it's not as important as streaming and maybe that will change but i think if anything could change with it it's going to be these two um so yeah uh anyway i had better now put them back in their box get them ready to fly to Munich um, a bit before I do, clean the cat hair off them, and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>